you will never succeed at a relationship until you understand and you forgive your mum. You've got mummy issues. I actually hate this phrase, mummy issues. It became such a, such a thing that everybody talks about. It pisses me off. But you need to fix your relationship with your mother as well. I spoke about the father, but the mother is important as well. It's going to help you with understanding the women you're going to court um, in the future. The woman that you are going to marry. Because when you understand your mother, she is the first emblem and symbol of femininity in your life. So you will understand her that way. When you understand her, when you forgive her, when you stop being resentful for her. Resentful. Resentful or to her. I don't know. Yeah. You will actually develop a big and deeper understanding and more emotional control with the women that you date. And that's very important and I learned it. Let me give you an example. Something that, some things that women do, which is called shit test. Your woman is going to test you from time to time to see if you're strong or not. And if you behave like a little bloody child who's resentful, oh, why are you do this to me? Or you get too angry and you fuck it up, she's going to lose attraction for you. And the, the only way you can reinforce that part of yourself, of course, you can work on it with your relationship itself, but you can work on it if you fix your relationship with your mother. Your mother is a woman as well. She can get angry. She can have her own ups and downs and she can have her womanly, womanly reactions. And the womanly reactions, us men, we need to handle them differently. We need to go deeper and deeper into into our masculinity to actually find balance and that's what you need to do i used to have for example me and my my story with my mother is screwed up i used to be this pain in the ass and my mother was was she's still here <laughs> thank god alhamdulillah uh, is used to be angry all the time she's she had like fire in her blood right and all due respect to her i love my mother we used to have a lot of fights. She used to piss me off. I used to get in fights with my mother. I used to go to my friends and tell them, my mum did this to me and I'm feeling sad and I'm depressed. <laughs> and then all this bullshit teenage reactions, right? And I blame the pop culture for that because especially rock and roll music used to used to propagate these ideas for that the, our parents are bad for us and our parents are actually don't dumb or we don't we shouldn't respect them etc which is bollocks right uh, just thinking about it it's uh makes me so fucking uh, disappointed in my younger self and i remember once my mother found me uh, watching porn and it was pro that was crazy man and i'm, I'm from i come from a, a muslim country we're a muslim family and when they find you watch porn you are you are literally the devil. You are the worst human being. You are a piece of trash. You are you are just a ball sack for them when they when they discover that. And then you actually you actually find yourself depressed and you develop de develop all of this resentment and you can't feel comfortable with your sexuality as a man and all of this all of this plethora of things that can um, that can manifest themselves in the in the later stages of your life and that happened to me you know it's crazy it's a crazy thing but we all go through that um, i chose to be open about that i like talking about these things because i think a lot of people will relate to me and we've all done stupid shit when we are when we were younger today i've got a lot of energy i don't know why it's a little bit difficult for me to talk but you know you get you get what you get today right just focus on the value all right so when you when all of those wounds from your mother that you developed it's not your fault and it's not your her fault as well she's done her best and you've done your best maybe not because you're because you're a little fucking prick let's be honest i was a fucking prick man i was i would cause problems have fights disrespect her talk back talk down to my mum that's crazy man if i've seen my younger self i'd slap the shit out of him <laughs> seriously man so, 
when you fix all of those resentments, when you actually forgive her and understand her for her nature, her being a woman, and actually not take it seriously or personally, you will succeed in your, in your, pers in your personality. Yeah, your personality and your relationship. You will understand your woman. You will understand that she's, okay, she's just a woman. She's reacting this way. And this is ha how a man should act in these situations. And you will have a balance. And the reason why I talk about the parents, even if they're dead, if you just forgive them, symbolically, your archetypes are aligned. Your energy is aligned. Your mentality is aligned. And you will go with such a with such a new, refreshed, replenished personality, and you will understand everything. Suddenly, everything will click. And this is I learned these things from Carl Jung. Carl Jung talks about how you should fix your relationship with your parents and how it's important. I also watch Elliot Holtz, and he talks about that as well. So the boys who fix their relationships with their fathers, they become stronger men, more disciplined and more, more in touch with their mission and more honourable as males, as men. And the boys who fix their relationships with their mothers, they become good lovers. The lover archetype grows whole within them, grows robust and it becomes almost fruitful for you in the relationship yeah it's something it's something new that activates that is activated within you so yeah boys you need to fix your relationship with your parents and thanks for watching the video